it's me Courtney Crosby and today I'm going to show you how I did this 90s inspired airbrush design. Let's check it out. So I've seen this design on the internet over the past week or so and I liked it so I decided I'd jump on the wagon. I'm using blue sky colors today if you haven't noticed already I really like blue sky. They are DC62 is the blue one, Fruit Twist N25 is the pink one, and Purple Rain is the purple one. I'll put the links to those in the description box. Well, I won't use them all, but those are the ones that I used for the ones that I did earlier today. If you want to do this design, you're going to need to paint your nails white. I used Studio White by Blue Sky. It's not great, it needs three coats, but it does get there eventually. So. These are cured and I did wipe off the tacky layer with some isopropyl alcohol because I prefer to do designs on nails when they have been wiped off. I just find it gives me a better finish. The brush that I'm going to be using is this one. It's just a fine detail brush. It's nothing special. It wasn't expensive. It's probably off of Amazon. Just wipe that off. Now. What you're going to do is, what color shall we do? So we'll do one more heart design, and I'll do that in purple because I don't have a purple heart design there. So I'm just gonna take a little blob of my purple there, and I'm going to draw on all the hearts. You can do them any size you want. You could even do an X and an O if you wanted for Valentine's Day or whatever, but I'm just gonna do them to match these ones. So as always, I like to prime my brush so that I can get the bristles nice and flat so that they're not frayed or there isn't like a ball of polish at the end. And then I'll just go in and start making hearts. Okay, so if you've ever watched me try and make hearts before, you'll know that it's not my strong point. So you can probably do a better job than me, but this is kind of an abstract design and it doesn't really need to be perfect anyway. So now I'm gonna put a couple of stars with my big end of my dotting tool. If you noticed I made that heart with my dotting tool, it's because it was very little and I find it easier for me to make small hearts with a dotting tool. Now, these big dots are gonna be stars. I'm just gonna drag out from the middle a wee bit. And the little dots, I'm just gonna leave them as dots. So that needs to go in the light to cure for 60 seconds. Okay, that has come out the light now. We're ready for the second step. So what I'm gonna do now that I have this purple blob here, I'm gonna add a little bit of no wipe top coat. You can use any top coat or any base coat, anything clear that you have. And I'll put a little blob there. Then I use my dotting tool and I'm literally only gonna put the tiniest bit of purple into that clear and mix it all up. Try not to mix it up with your brush because you'll ruin your brush and I know this from experience. Okay so that's that. I'm gonna get the same brush that I used before. I could use a bigger brush I guess but it doesn't really make a difference. Okay here we go. So now we're gonna go into this clear purpley mixture that I made and I'm just going over the lines that I did. Doesn't need to be perfect by any means. You can go inside, you can go outside, you can color in the whole heart if you want. You just want to give it a little shadow, I guess, so that it has that airbrushed look. So I'll do that to everything, the stars and the dots and the hearts. And 
and that is step two done and it's going back in the light for 60 seconds here it is back out of the light and I'm ready to put some white highlights on I'm using this fire uh, painting gel by Lisa Conn it's my absolute favorite and the same brush that I was using before only want a little bit I want the lines to be quite fine and I'm not putting them on in any kind of scientific pattern where the highlights would be I'm just kind of whacking them on wherever takes my fancy there and that's going to go back in the light for 60 seconds and then it's ready for a top coat now for the written one I don't really like writing on nails I find it very difficult but I was speaking to another nail tech the other day and she told me that she writes on the nail with a pen and then she goes over that with the gel polish so I didn't use a pen for this but I did use a pencil so what I'm going to do is just give this a little buff because I have drawn on nails with pencil before and I know that it works better if you buff the nail I got these buffers the other day from Amazon Canvalite. I use their files as well. And for a cheap brand, I'm going to say I think they're my favorite. So if you're looking for a new brand of files, check out Canvalite on Amazon. I think that's probably the cheapest ones that I've found. So I wipe that off with alcohol and I just let it dry, fan it. And then I'm going to get a pencil when it's dry and I'm going to write on the nail I don't want it to be too dark I'm trying to support it so that it doesn't fall off the stand so that is just barely visible to me I'm not even sure if you will be able to see it at all but trust me I've written on it so I think I'll do it in pink this is a really bright pink I like it and I will need a little bit of top coat as well so I might as well put some of that on my plate and I'll be using this brush again wish me luck Okay, so that worked pretty well. For these long lines here, I am gonna use my striping brush, long detail brush, whatever kind of brush you wanna call it. Perfect. Now, that's gonna go in the light to cure for 60 seconds. And we can top coat this one actually while we're waiting. In you get. So oh, I'm using my no wipe top coat. Oh, I love it. It's going to match the others perfectly. So that needs to get cured as well. I need to clean up here. I'm naked today. Ooh. I can't believe I've done a video with naked nails. I wouldn't normally do a video with naked nails, but um I really wanted to get this out to you guys because it's almost Valentine's Day and I didn't want you to miss the opportunity. So I'll take not my brush, my dotting tool and mix a tiny bit of pink, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now I'll take my brush and just get some there and then just like the hearts and that I'm just gonna go over what I did with the pink okay I think we need a little bit more pink
cool, I like it. So we'll cure that. I didn't do any white highlights on the love with the purple like I did on the hearts, but I totally can do that. I hold these on with white tack, white blue tack in fact, and then when I want to stick them on that I just ball it up so that it pokes out a bit. And then that can stick on there. Like that. Looking good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get the white ready. Let's try it with the highlights on the writing and see what that looks like. Love. Cool, so that will go back in the light and then I'll top coat it. And that's literally it. The perfect easy design for Valentine's Day. And here they all are. I didn't, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really feel this design at first, but now that I've done it five times, it's actually kind of growing on me and I really like the highlights in the pink love. I wish I had done them on the purple love. If you're going to do writing, then I suggest you do highlights as well. So there you go. I hope you do these for Valentine's Day. I hope somebody wants them. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments. And as always, you can tag me in all your social media posts so that I can have a look at what you're doing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.